Last year, Nevada put together a strong season with a possible future first round pick at quarterback. They will look to do the same again this season. They will have a lot of returning production on offense and could put up a lot of points this year. But will that be enough to translate to wins for the Wolfpack? Let's talk about that. We are now almost done with the month of July, meaning we are in prime preview magazine season as the college football season quickly approaches. Over the next two months, I will be previewing every college football team, yes, all 130, and in this episode, I will be looking at Nevada. Last year, the Wolfpack went 7-2 and 6-2 in conference play. This year, they will look to improve as they return 73% of their production from last year, which ranks 52 nationally. On offense, they return 82% of their production, which ranks 33rd nationally, while on defense, they return 64% of their production, which ranks 84th nationally. Head coach Jay Norvell enters his fifth year as the head man at Nevada and has put together a 25-22 record and a 2-1 bowl game record. He led the Wolfpack to their third straight bowl game last year and has 30 years of coaching experience. He has even worked with Peyton Manning when he was on the Colts coaching staff from 1998 to 2001. Matt Mum enters his fifth year as the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. He is the son of Hal Mum, one of the creators of the Air Raid offense. Ryan Ward enters his second season as the defensive coordinator at Nevada after serving as the defensive coordinator for Syracuse from 2016 to 2019. The offense returns 10 starters including starting quarterback Carson Strong. Strong threw for 2,335 yards as a redshirt freshman, getting hot during his last five games of the season, averaging 272 yards per game and an 8-to-1 touchdown to interception ratio during the time period. Last year, Strong threw for 420 yards against Wyoming in the season opener and for 411 yards and three touchdowns against Utah State a few weeks later. He was seven pass attempts short of tying the Mountain West record for most consecutive passes without throwing an interception. The record is 306. He had thrown 299 passes. He led the Mountain West throwing for 2,858 yards, 27 touchdowns, and only 4 interceptions last season, completing 70.1% of his passes. He has mastered the deep ball last year and could be a top pick in the NFL draft this year. His backup will either be Clay Millen or Nate Cox. At running back, Toa Taua spent most of the 2019 season banged up, but still rushed for the team leading 807 yards, averaging 4.1 yards per carry. Last year, he rushed for 675 yards, averaging 5.9 yards per carry, and also had 218 receiving yards. Devontae Lee finished with 427 rushing yards and averaged 5.2 yards per carry. They also had Avery Marrow. When it comes to receivers, Nevada has an experienced and electric unit led by deep threat Romeo Dubs. Dubs had 1,002 receiving yards and 9 touchdowns, averaging 17.3 yards per catch last year, which led to him being named first team All Mountain West. They also returned Elijah Cooks, who was coming off an injury that caused him to miss all of last year. They also returned tight end Cole Turner, who had 605 yards and 9 touchdowns last year and was named first team Mountain West. Sophomore Torrey Horton and the top 5 pass catchers from last season all returned. They also had Washington transfer Marquise Spiker and Arkansas Pine Bluff transfer Harry Ballard. Last season, true freshman Jacob Gardner stepped up after Miles Beach decided to retire before the season. Gardner started all nine games on the offensive line, and all five starters on the offensive line were the same last year. They were supposed to return all five starters this season, but right guard Nate Brown opted not to return. Second team Mountain West lineman Aaron Frost returns, and the offensive line unit combines for a total of 63 starts going into the year. On defense, Nevada returns nine starters after allowing the lowest points per game since 2010 last season. On the defensive line, they will be led by two-time all-conference defensive tackle Dominic Peterson, who should also get help from all-conference lineman Sam Hammond. Zach Mahana and Cameron Toomer round out the all-senior front four. Juco transfer Chase Davis adds depth. Nevada returns their top five linebackers from last year and adds USF transfer Bentley Sanders, who should be playing nickel back. All-conference linebacker Lawson Hall should lead the unit. Lehman Torre and Diane Henley should man the outside as Peter Montini, Devon Blackwell, and Naki Montalano add depth. This should be a formidable front when combined with the defensive line. When it comes to the secondary, Burdell Robbins was third team Mountain West last year and could be an all-conference candidate once again this year. They had four years Wake Forest transfer Isaiah Essesima and returned three cornerbacks who started three games last year. The secondary could make a jump this year. They started 2020 strong, allowing 199 passing yards per game, 
through the first six games, but ended the regular season on a sour note, allowing 485 yards against Fresno State and 306 yards to San Jose State. All Mountain West kicker Brandon Talton returns along with 13 Mountain West punter Julian Diaz. They also should have a dangerous return unit. Nevada could vie for their first Mountain West title this year due to their explosive offense. According to Phil Steele, they play the 107th ranked hardest schedule this year. Athlon projects them to go 8-5 and five and 6-2 and two in conference, while ESPN projects them to win 7.1 games. I believe they will go 7-5 and 5-3 five and five and three in conference play. I see them losing their season opener to California before beating Idaho State. Then I believe they will lose to at Kansas State before their bye and at Boise State after their bye before beating New Mexico State and Hawaii. Then I think they lose at Fresno State before beating UNLV and San Jose State. I think they lose to San Diego State before finishing the regular season on a two-game win streak, beating Air Force and Colorado State on the road. But what do you think? How will Nevada do this season? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the preview series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.